for the cake quick cast with the morning's top stories as you head out the door. A new assault was reported in Wichita's Old Town late last night. One person was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. This comes after seven people were shot, one of them fatally, in a shooting in Old Town early Sunday. Police say the shooting happened about 2 a.m. just as the bars were closing for the night. They say officers heard at least 10 gunshots in the area of 100 North Mead. Police say they found six people who had been shot. Three of them were in critical condition. The seven victims showed up at the hospital Sunday morning. All of the victims are men between the age of 25 and 35. One of the victims, a 25-year-old man, has died. Police say it's unfortunate a fun night uh, out really just took such a violent and tragic turn. I don't think that any altercation after a night of drinking is worth somebody's life, and I think it's a really sad event. Police did not talk about a possible motive, nor would they talk about if they had any suspects. Police tell us they would release more information at a briefing later today. Also making news this morning, a man is scheduled for trial in the shooting of a Cedric County Sheriff's deputy in March. Jason Perez is charged with three attempted murder counts, among others. Allegiant Airlines is playing catch up after finding potential problems with emergency exit slides on its planes. Two scheduled flights today between Wichita and Phoenix have been postponed until tomorrow. Two other flights between Wichita and Las Vegas were postponed from yesterday to today. Several loud explosions and black smoke emerged from a Nairobi Kenya shopping mall this morning. Cabinet members now report two militants were killed on a military operation. At least 68 hostages died over the weekend. Opponents of the Keystone XL oil pipeline staged protests over the weekend. A day of action included rallies in several Iowa cities and a march to the Missouri River in Kansas City. Germany's chancellor will keep her job, but Angela Merkel will need to find some new political partners after national elections. Her coalition partners did not gain enough votes to qualify for seats in parliament.